Ah, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's so beautiful. I, I mean, one thing that I think <laughs> musicians, well, they may or may not know yeah. is what we do with their music, you know. Yeah. I have listened to Noble, uh, Noble Nketiah's song, mm. um, um, Baby Nawaya Mami. Yeah. The number of times I have played the oh. music in my car, you know, going oh. home and just reflecting on the Frima. goodness of God. He has no idea. Frima. I should be paying you for Frima. that. <laughs> it's one of those songs that you know that when you are at your lowest, you are at your very lowest, you think about the many things that he's done yeah. for you. Yeah. And yeah. you can't but keep on holding Absolutely. onto God and Absolutely. saying, you know what? The, a brighter day is going to come. You know, there, there are some songs, you listen to them, mm. you, you love it. It's a beautiful um, piece put together. Yeah. And there are others too that is more of a prayer. Mm. You know, you mm. know, with this particular song, I'm praying to God, you yes. know, it's not just about singing, yes. listening to music, admiring yeah. yes. creativity. Yeah. It's about some kind of connection, you know, and for me, that's what his music does mm. to me, mm. right? Mm. Mm. We have been enjoying beautiful tunes from <laughs> Noble and Katie. I mean, he needs no introduction and he is right here seated. You're going to be asking him, you know, some questions. I have things I want to ask him, yeah. like personally, uh, uh, okay. I do. Uh, I also yeah. have questions for him. Right. So, so Noble, thank you very much for joining us on Breakfast Daily. Thank you. Wait, so, look, when you hear testimonies <laughs> like this, you know, how do you feel? Um, humbled, as mm. you say, mm. um, because I believe that it's, it's only the grace of God that is taking me through all these years. And it's just refreshing to know people, I mean, to hear people say that, oh, your song has been A blessing. blessing me yeah. all these years. It, it, it inspires you mm. and it, it makes you feel um, fulfill like mm. the fact that you're working and people are appreciating yeah. it. Yeah. So it's just it's just about you being humble enough to say God has I mean been Good. faithful to you. Yeah. Mm. Because it's not everybody that is able to touch the hearts and the souls of no, I can assure you very few people. Yeah, yeah. So to 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 know that people have been inspired each and every day yeah. by your songs is, yeah. is something that I can be yeah. thankful to yeah. God for. Yeah. Okay, so no but before we continue, let me yeah. just introduce our, our mixologist. Oh yeah. All right. He's here on the set. Pro crop you. Now uh, he's the CEO of Jerry's Cocktails. Okay, so he's going to be giving us some drinks and things this morning. So if you hear him shaking and mixing it up and all of that, uh huh, yeah. But we should, we should, we should taste the shake, you know. We should taste it. So Jerry, I'm in. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's it. What I'm that's it. About. That's it. That's, it. that's the way it works. No, the right. way they're shaking is going. It will be nice. It will be nice. I'm I, waiting. I can imagine. Yeah, I need something cool. But you know, that's why James Bond says shaken, not stirred. Yeah, there's a difference. Shake that thing. Yeah. And he's shaking it, he's shaking it. <laughs> so, right, right. <laughs> so, um, Noble, yeah. where have you been? People want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah. yeah. Where have you been? Um, I have been around, you know. Um, what we do is, is it takes much of a time, of mm. a time. And you have to be a full-time musician. To be a full-time, I mean, worker or something, anything you want to do. Yeah. But you, you, if you remember very well, um, as far back as 2004, I started this project called uh, The Children of the Street, yes. mm. where uh, my desire was to do as much as I can to take as many kids as we can, give, put them in a home and raise them like all other kids. Mm. Mm. Because we believe that they are the future. And um, most often, this, this children are there not through any fault of theirs. Yeah. Um, these are the same children that grows, uh, grow up to become uh, armed robbers, kidnappers, mm -hmm. prostitutes, mm -hmm. drug addicts yeah. and all this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And imagine in the next five, seven years to come, I mean, t even 30% of these children becoming armed robbers. Mm. And what kind of world are we going to live? So yeah. in those days, I felt like there was a need for us to love them. Mm. Like I always say, the greatest harm we can do to them is not by just hurting them in yeah. any way, but to den deny them of the love that they deserve. Mm. Mm. So I've been working on it. Okay. And because it, take, it, it takes time, yeah. I, at a point I felt that it, it was going, that it was not functioning working as much as well. So work, yeah. I had to just devote time to it. And so that has, be, that was taking much of my time for mm. a while. But thankfully, I have people who will assist to take care of the place, mm. to allow me to be able to fully do what I know how to do mm. best. So, yes, I'm back. 
Fantastic. I was and, excited. And, and it's truly to have noble you back. indeed. Yeah. yeah. But but you know, you have always been there when it, mm. we talk about music, mm. gospel music, because I remember way back, you were very young, you know. And uh, yeah, because I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been doing it. How have you been able to sustain yourself? Because others came, they Such couldn't, you know, yeah. um, go through it at some point. You mentioned, and I know this work is extremely difficult, but you have been there consistently. How have you been able to sustain yourself? Certainly, it's, it's grace, obviously. It's not much of what I have done or been able to do. But I believe that whatever purpose you're, you've been created for, mm -hmm. when you live, live up to it and allow yourself for God to use you, he, he's always sufficient to, to take care of you and to keep you all the way. Mm. And I always tell the young ones that mm -hmm. are coming that there's one thing having the gift and there's another thing walking the purpose to which mm -hmm. the gift was given mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. and i believe that the, when you do the two together god is always faithful to hold you up and keep you and to sustain you all the time mm -hmm. it is only when the god factor is mm -hmm. not there that's where it gets to a point where it, i mean you begin to you get weak or yeah. you get tired yeah. of it yeah. and you feed up. But yeah. what inspires your writing? Because sometimes when you hear good music, I yeah. ask myself, ah, but how what, was it? What able okay to, to you? You understand? Yeah, sometimes to you listen to the rhythm and everything, I'm like, if they give me a thousand years, I can't do this, you know. <laughs> how how are you inspired? What inspires you? How are you able to put that fantastic music together? Now before you answer that, the cocktail Jerry, is it ready? Oh Jerry, oh. Yeah. That killing the vibe. <laughs> yes, no, but let's go. Yeah, um, First of all, like earlier on I said that you have to allow yourself for God to use you mm. to be a blessing to many. Because I believe that what we do is different to what the secular world does. Yeah. Theirs is to entertain you. Mm. But we have to impact lives. Mm -hmm. We have to, to, mm. to really affect you in, in so many ways. Yeah. To, lead, to be able to, to believe that God is always good and he's always able to do more, much more mm. than what we think and so most times i i allow myself for god to use me to bring other songs in. so it's basically the things that evolve around me mm. Mm. things i testify to things that i believe that when you hear it will it will speak your story mm -hmm. yeah it will tell it will tell you something it will increase your faith something to inspire you inspire you or to motivate you to to believe and, and to hold on to your faith mm. so for instance, um, my, the song Semi that you mm -hmm. said yeah. you love was, was just, it, it dropped into my spirit on a moment on the street where I, I, I saw a crippled man mm. who wanted to just simply cr cross the street. Yeah. And for over an hour, he, he couldn't cross it. Wow. And as I stood back to see how he was going to cross, I saw hmm. how ungrateful I had always been to yeah. God. For, this, for the fact that you can just the, walk. Yes, yeah, things we take for granted. We, sometimes hmm. our expectations are so much that we fail to realize the good things God is mm. doing um, in our lives. Yeah. Mm. And that moment, I remember I was angry with myself with so many expecting something. Mm -hmm. And it was not coming. And, and I, even then, I said, I remember I had come to our car to record. And because of some things I was looking for and I was not getting, I said, I was going back to Kumasi. Mm. So in, in my anger, I mean, God had directly spoken to me yeah. mm. and giving me that song yeah. and eventually that song became the hit song on that particular yeah. album yeah. Yeah. but it was not part of the album i was recording <laughs> wow yeah. so it was it was oh just a moment i mean moment of um god visiting me and yeah. pointing out certain things that i mm. need to acknowledge mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to share with the world yeah. what what really have to be yeah. told and i believe those years like you said it was it, it came right on time because mm. Ghanaians, and i remember <coughs> very well you know four years after we were crying that um eradicasa those things in 2000 when we was Ghanaians said we are tired, we want to uh, change. Yeah, change. change. Yeah. And we were singing Eradicas, Eradicas. Mm -hmm. And soon after, we started complaining yes, again. That's what, that's but then, God wanted to tell us that mm -hmm. there's much more He's doing that we can see with our yeah. eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, to wake up every morning is an opportunity for you to appreciate God. And I always say to people that the COVID has actually taught us lots of lessons. Because there are people who had so much money, if they, if they could actually buy life,
but today they are not alive to use the things and do for all the things but we are so privileged and so yeah. um fortunate to be alive today mm -hmm. and it's an opportunity for us to appreciate god mm. regardless of what we are expecting yeah. and what we haven't received yeah great when it comes to your music um i mean i know that when we listen to songs like we bring mm -hmm. i know that you're a prayerful person you have to be <laughs> you know to be able to have a song that transcends time yeah you know yeah. and the song has to be anointed mm -hmm. in a way um when you're looking at moving forward okay everybody's expecting uh okay so noble says he's back um music is we're expecting more songs but you've, you've set such a high bar for yourself with Bibi Nawai and the other songs that came at the time. Do you feel pressure? I don't, ha I don't have to feel pressured if only I rely on God to mm. sustain and to, to mm. give me what. Mm. It is only when you are dependent on yourself, thinking that you have to face the I mean, realities of life mm. and all that. But when you, when you rely solely on God, yeah. and obviously, what we do is for God. I mean, we just only have to avail ourselves for God to okay. use us. Okay. And so as long as I avail myself, mm. God is able to, to continue to give me these same kind of spirit-filled songs okay. and that has okay. lived on over the years. Mm. Like these hymns that we've always been singing. Mm. I mean, from time to time, we keep on singing them and it's always fresh and it's always yeah. carry the power that yeah. it carries. So when you allow God yeah. to use you, it, it doesn't matter the pressures of the the world. Mm. I mean, whatever he wants to do with you, yeah. he's able to do with you. Yeah. So yeah. I, I feel that. You know, talking about um, the hymns and all, yeah. a, a couple of weeks ago it was um, Children's Day in my church, okay. and we had the children's choir mm -hmm. coming to do Trust and Obey. Mm -hmm. And it ministered to me <laughs> differently that it's day. Amazing, you know, isn't because it? Because I, I could see now the children telling us that yeah. if only you would trust, trust. and obey. Yeah. And I, I don't remember how many times, you know, You've I've heard, I've heard song Trust and, and Obey. And we sing it, you know, just Trust and Obey. Yeah. Then that's but it. we're not thinking about the words. Absolutely. Though, exactly. you know? So when it came to children yeah. telling us Trust and Obey, yeah. Yeah. now I opened myself and I was like, oh, yeah, mm. you know, so you pay attention to the words mm. and it, it sounded differently. Mm. But, you know, let's move on um, a bit from you mm -hmm. and look at the bigger picture of the Ghana music industry. You have been doing music in the early hours, um, years of 2000s. Yes. And you are still here. Mm -hmm. Do you see any growth in the music industry? Yeah. Or we are going back? Um, growth in the music itself, is, there is the growth. I mean, you know, time changes. Mm -hmm. and music, as we all know, evolves. Um, oh, certainly when I was growing up, I was listening to people like Daughters, Tego Sisters, yes. Esther yes. Miche, The Miracle, mm -hmm. and all these yeah. people. The, what the difference they made is the, the, the power behind the songs, mm. not the quality of the music. Mm -hmm. Because okay. to compare the, the quality of the sound that they had then mm. and today, it's vast. Yes, there, the there's a vast difference. But the, the power and the, the, the spirit that the song carries always remain the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah so changes may come. We, it, it, music is evolving. Do before we heard of Boga her life and all yeah. this. Yeah. Today is no more. Yeah. There's hip life. There's all these things. Now we have Afro beats. And Afro all beats. Of these. Yeah. In our field, we have contemporary music. Yeah. We have yeah. urban gospel, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. it all boils down to the people that are representing or the, 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 those that have been called to really have, allow God to use them mm. Mm. to be. Because I'm sure. The younger generation has what it appeals to them. Mm. Yeah. But we, no matter what we do, however we change it, the God factor must always remain there. Mm. When that one is off, that's yeah. where uh, the problem no, comes please in. Please wrap this up for us yes. by telling us what's new for you. Yes. What are you, okay, what so, can we expect? Um, what are we expecting? It, it, over the years, of all the things that I've done, I, I believe that the time had come for us to raise mm. new people, to also l live up to whatever... Thank you. We, we've done over the, over the years so that they will continue with the work and continue to bless their generation mm -hmm. as well. So there's more of mentoring. And obviously, whilst I am still alive mm. and God continues to give me the song study, yeah. I will continue to be doing what I have to do. Super. And I believe that God will continue to give me the grace 
to continue to be a blessing to as many as I can be. We can right. say amen to that. Amen. Can't we? Amen. Maybe amen. we can do cheers. Love, yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and oh, people. And, um, I mean, you should give let's, Noble let's something. Some, you know? Let's get Noble some uh, something nice. Are to drink. you fixing that for him? Yes. Great. Hey, you wait more. Mm hmm. Let's have my kind cheers in that. Mm, all right. <laughs> so we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Breakfast Daily. Continue.